Uh, and today I have a new companion who um, started following us out of town. I just haven't been able to get rid of her. And she and one better playing like you wouldn't believe. But of course I can't carry food and water for two dogs, it's too much. Um, so I'm hoping to find a farmer that'll take her in. There are an estimated 19 million street dogs in Mexico. That's according to the State of Pet Homelessness Project, which collected data between 2022 and 2023. And if you think that's bad, in India, it's estimated that there are 70 million street dogs. That's more than double the Australian human population. And of course, pet abandonment is a problem in every country. So what happens when a street dog joins Wombat and I on our trail during our journey across the world? Hello, my name is Lucy Barnard and I'm making an attempt to be the first woman to walk the length of the earth from the bottom to the top of the Americas. I have passed halfway and I'm currently in Mexico making my way up to the United States. Are you ready? This little rando dog joined us on a walk that was two days between towns. I hoped that she would leave us in a village where she might find somewhere more comfortable to stay. But in fact, she ended up going the whole way with us. <laughs> uh, this has happened a few times before and usually they get tired and they just end up stopping in a town. Um, but hopefully I'll find somewhere for her today. Or tomorrow, I can maybe lose her in the next town, but um, not ideal. Okay, ¿qué traen su bolsa? Bueno, um, otro ropa. When I left the last town, I actually um, asked somebody that was in their front yard if I could leave the dog in their garden and shut the gate just for 10 minutes so that I could get away and um, they said no. So hopefully somebody along here is willing to adopt this dog. It's really hard to know what to do because you just don't know if then they'll feed it or if they're just gonna let it fend for itself. Let's go. I don't know if you can see that. Hello. <laughs> Every so often I have a spot of trouble. And this one doesn't know the rule about not being on the tent. Oi, oi, oi. No. Out. Out. Further. Now. <laughs> Good boy. Good girl. Meanwhile, Wombat <laughs> isn't happy about this rule being broken. So, I mean, the last time this happened was in Guatemala, but every so often I have a dog come and walk with us and it just won't go away. And it gets to the point where I feel a bit responsible, but I don't want to feed them because that's just encouraging pet ownership right there. Um, so now I've been asking anyone that I have run into if they want a dog and... Um, not ideally we're going to be spending the night in close proximity because I haven't been able to find someone who will just even hold on to her while I get away. So tomorrow we get into a bigger town and I'm hoping that if I stay there I'll be able to sneak off in the morning. It's really terrible but I mean I can't carry water for two dogs and food for two dogs. It actually has been quite good because in one sense, oh, just right on the tent, um, yeah, in one sense, we haven't had as much problems with street dogs because there's been the three of us, so we just look more intimidating. So that's been great, but I just can't do it, so.
break. Rando dog. I knew doing that would make it harder to lose her in town, but I did it anyway because I felt responsible for her at that point, and it did make it harder to lose her in town. I was just about to say that I think I lost our rando dog. Um, she stopped in at the local hospital where there were lots of people and food. She just literally burst out of the grass after coming back to find us. I think she's going to be harder to lose than I was hoping. I found a hotel that was happy for Wombat and I to stay for the night but she was very clear that she didn't want the street dog staying because she smelt. Fair enough. So she told me that I'd need to go and have lunch somewhere and wait for her to walk away and then come back to the hotel with just Wombat. So the stakes were high actually because I was really worried that if this other dog came back with me that I wouldn't be able to stay in that hotel and it was really the only option in town. And to make matters more serious, I was in an area that isn't safe to camp in, so I really needed that accommodation for the night. In town, where my big plan of hopefully losing this dog is going to unfold. Apparently there are a lot of street dogs up here, so hopefully we get some friends and um, stays with them. So Wombat and I spent hours at a little restaurant eating a hamburger and a milkshake and coffee until finally the little rando dog fell asleep just outside one of the doors. The owner of the restaurant then came to me and said I could use the back door to leave. So I quickly snuck out and went back to the hotel with just Wombat. And then we were ready for the night and able to leave without her. I'm hiding in my 24 hour hotel room because I think I have lost Rando Dog. Not that I wanted to, yeah, I feel like I've betrayed her. <laughs> um, but I just didn't want to drag her across another three days to the next big town. Um, and I don't want to celebrate too early either because this has happened before. And then when I tried to leave town, said random dog was waiting for me where I was staying but outside and as soon as Wombat and I started in the morning we had a tail again so hopefully tomorrow I can sneak out of town the problem is I'm on the early side of town and I have to go all the way through so there's a good chance that I'll pass her hopefully I don't know whether to take the main street, which is near the park where I know there'll be dogs sleeping, or if I should go the quieter street, but that would risk, that's where I left her. Anyway, we'll see. And hopefully I don't have to worry about water and food for a second dog for another three days. Not that I was really feeding her. I just gave her a little bit of food this morning because I was worried about her welfare. And Wombat was being annoying with how much of his breakfast he wanted to eat, so I gave it away. Meanwhile, Wombat is quite happily sleeping on my jacket. He's actually not allowed on the bed in this hotel, so I'm going to have to kick him off. And he can sleep on the floor tonight. I have just got... He loves lying on this first thing in the morning, so I have that just on the floor for him. Um... And the reason he got up on the bed was because I went out to get water for like five minutes. I was gone. But I put my jacket and stuff there because I had a suspicion that he might climb up on the bed. But the lady really doesn't want him on the bed. So I'm going to make sure that he's on the floor tonight, not dropping hair. Poor Wombi. <laughs> Someone should invent pajamas for dogs so that they don't drop hair. But of course, as we were sneaking out of town, I had to walk through the plaza because it's essential in towns like this. You can't leave town without going through the plaza. I spotted her little head looking up and around. She must have heard us. I've just left the hotel and I'm hoping that we don't run into Rando Dog.
We missed her. Um, actually, I was walking right towards her and I saw her just move and sit up. And um, so I double backed and went around the block the other side. Uh, I felt like I was betraying her, but also it's the best thing for her. And of course, something I haven't mentioned is that she is on heat and is probably already pregnant. It's such a difficult problem with so many street dogs. There's over 18 million, nearly 19 million, and you can't save them all. But certainly getting her to walk long distances and having me carrying food and water for a second dog, it's just not possible. And now it's back to just me and Wombat. If I could rescue them all, I would. And of course, there's a lot of great philanthropic organizations out there who are helping with sheltering dogs and finding new homes. And there are even programs run voluntarily by vets like the Sailing Vet. And while I don't have any tangible solutions, I certainly can appreciate that as I've passed through some countries here in the Americas, many of them have made some excellent steps towards reducing street dog populations through bringing in education, free sterilization programs, and microchipping. How long will it take until there are limited street dogs on the world? I don't know. But I do encourage you, if you are looking for a new pet, to consider rescuing one from a shelter and supporting people who do the work towards finding a solution.